Ready? Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, my name is Leo Gilling. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mr. Gilling. <laughs> And my name is Leone Farm. <laughs> we know you as Leone Farm. Okay? True. Yes. But a lot of folks call me the other name. The other name, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. all right, all right. I, I represent uh, Jamaicans.com and um, the, the, the show that we're on, on Jamaicans.com, is called uh, uh, Jamaican, The Jamaican View. Okay. Right? So what, what I do is I come out and I sit down and talk to people like you, and then I take it and I put it on um, the social media mm -hmm. and just spread it across the world. Okay. All right, so across, everybody going to get across, this, across the world. Across the world. Yes. Is that right? I hope they should survive this one. <laughs> the thing is, um, I got a chance to to meet you before. Yes. Right. Way back about twenty five years ago, but then. Last year, December, we we, uh, we spoke yes. on the air, right? Yes. yes. And I, 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 I got great to the fun. talk exactly. <laughs> it was all about Christmas and stuff, yeah, right? And, and, oh, in Jamaica. And yes. 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 We had so much fun. And when I sent it across, across the, 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 the whole world, everybody made a comment on it. So they loved it. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, I'm happy for you. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, this evening is more of a personal one-on-one, -on -one, face to face with you. Okay. Uh, you are what we we regard as a giant. Merciful. Giant. Yes, sure. Yes, you are. And every uh, I told Faye Ellington, you know, that every time I look at her, I see you. Did you, you teach know, her? Did you, did you teach yes, her? Yes, so we were neighbors. At one point, she stayed with me, and no, I knew her all the time. Oh. Miss Faye. No yes. one. Nowadays, my biggest fear is when someone becomes me fear. I said, don't do that. I'm like, she is. This fear is a young, vital lady. Me and granny. So, you know. <laughs> she know what I know very, very well. And we worked together in when she came to radio. Uh -huh. That's when I was in charge of JBC Radio. Oh. And she came. She was interested in things. And she came and said, you know, this, this little young lady. She yeah. had enough energy. And she curious. And she, uh, yes. So I had a word with the boss and I said, let us go. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, there was a movie that he did, run about 1970, and I don't know what the name is, okay? It Are was, you thinking we going to remember? Yes, you're supposed to remember. You're no, supposed to remember. It's a, it's supposed to be an argument with the head. You don't see the head. <laughs> Things disappear and mix <laughs> up and I don't oh know God. what to say and so on. It, it was a movie about, um, the, you, you had a boyfriend in there and... You seem to have been, you know, mistreating you. I don't remember the, the, the whole it thing. It might, might not have been a movie, movie, you know. It might have been part of some series or something. And sometimes I don't recall them as quickly unless I see it. If yes, I see it, see then it, I can say, yes. But other than that, something can boast okay. and carry on and well, tell me do that, and I can't do that. <laughs> it don't work like that in my head. Okay. All right. So let's take it from the scratch now. All right. Um, Mother's Day coming around. Mm -hmm. Uh, in another two days, we have Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. what, what does Mother's Day uh, uh, represent for Leonie Forbes? A whole lot of things. And not just because I, well, part of it is not a problem, but part of my double vision when it comes to Mother's Day, in terms of me and the, the, the children I had, I had four, two boys and two girls. Oh, okay. So that, and I, I, I was fascinated with them and try and go rough them up and think but want to teach them, show them the way and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But in terms of myself, I did not really call anybody mommy because it was my aunt who adopted me and they refused to allow her to do it legally. Oh, so she couldn't do much about it. But she was was my aunt. And I remember once I was my job was to cut the grass. We did we did big clipper. Yeah, mm -hmm. cause you don't know, have no lawn no. Right. And we get penny up in the for that to get my tin box. And I was all day the day clipping away and singing and child and I used to talk with the plants. Oh yes man and my favorite sandwich and, and why you not you must bright how you cannot just uh, dry up so and that's all that thing. <laughs> so when she came up I just the child, I don't think I was more than about nine or, or maybe even a little less. So I said, Mama so, so don't you call me that. 
Oh. I am not your mother when you be here, come take it, tell me. Oh. Me not your mother. Oh. Please your aunt. Okay. I, I still think sometimes I, I go back there and I, that I have never really recovered from that. I never really grew up calling anybody mommy oh. because my birth mother, I wasn't anywhere near her because they all did take me. Oh. And when I visited the country where they all lived, I was like the outsider. So when the other children call her mama, and I would say yes, mama, and so on. And occasionally you get a look, but she didn't really say anything. Right. But the lady who brought me up, who was my mother, so to speak, she said no call her so because she's not that, and she no want me to tell her when oh, when me older. Yeah. So in that sense, it made Mother's Day mean different things because mm -hmm. she died in I think 2004. Mm -hmm. But Mother's Day was always important. I wanted her to know that she did come. Thank you, man. And she did. Okay. You must go to school, you must do your homework, you must read, you must keep yourself tidy, find things around the house and church. If I want her to smile and be pleased, find something to do for Sunday school or for service, whether it's to recite a poem or read a scripture passage if pastor says or something like that. So there are nowadays too. I'm I'm seeing more things as I'm actually very grateful that she did. It's just that one thing. So I used to look at her children and say, Mommy, Mama, so and so and so, Mama, and so and I used to say, Then, something doing with me, can't say that. Mm -hmm. But with, she didn't let me. Okay. And I didn't have a chance to do it more than so. When I was where my grandmother was, um, and she was near her, for instance, when you open a house in the country, all the children do something open a window, open a door, do a thing and a thing. And I happened to have been down there at the time when her new house was opening. I said, don't put your foot out here. And I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to think, because I was looking forward, I'd never been through that. So when we go over, I called to my granny, hanged up McGill, mm -hmm. I went to her and she said, what do you doing over here, you're supposed to? I said, she said, she don't want. She said, she said what? And this, this old lady, when she get up, and she's tried out here, she said, what you say? You must be mad. Go inside, child, and she went open the front door because she's the first one. <gasps> you know, those, those sorts of things, and they come back every now and then, and you have to deal with them. And sometimes people think you're strange yes. because I might be a bit reserved. I spend a lot of time watching and listening and trying to learn and pick up things from other people. Even the children, when I had to go to school there for a spell, them not have a supply, please. She wears shoes and socks and tie ribbon in her ear. Go girl, tongue girl, and that was, you know, so you had all these yes. problems and little fights and things yes, yes, when yes. you when you you're growing up. But guess what? All of that contributes to where I am today right. and what I'm trying to do because also I learned to acknowledge the Almighty and know that with Him around, and if I am by His side or He will in my hand or watching over me, then. I'll be out and I'll find something to do. So the first place I performed really was church. Oh, wow. And from there, it did no change. It, it, it wasn't any problem or anything. You go and you recite your poem and thing. As a matter of fact, his pastor didn't catch me because the young people <laughs> had a concert and I wanted them to laugh. So I went on there to take home pastor and stuff. And all of a sudden, the laughter died. And I thought, oops, what did I do? Did I say something? And he smiled. He said, I'll be watching you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a lot of things that contribute to how you end up. Sometimes you don't even know. But those things I recall quite easily. I don't have a problem with them. And I remember a lot of folks who reached out. I also remember some lessons my grandmother taught me. Because I was a good mimic. Mm -hmm. And I would cop in American accent and go around the district and fuss with the people and there. And I went to this old lady who we had known for quite a while and pretended to be our daughter who was in the States and tell her I'm going to go to the shop and I'm going to bring her this and I'm going to bring her that. And <laughs> she went on the outside there, killing themselves with love. But she couldn't see, so she was doing that. Oh, and no. until now, it's one of the things that can reduce me to nothing. Somebody just doing that. Yeah. That's what she did. And she was checking me out. And to I make sure that yeah. 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 And so, and she knew, so she just smiled. So yes, me dear. Yes, yes. me dear. Uh, the other kids went ahead and tell my granny. You get beaten? No. Okay. She said, you're going to keep your word. 
So any little job you get a penny to do this oh whole penny you know, you had your chicken and when when they lay they buy the eggs, you don't get much with you know, penny here, penny two pence if you block it chop eggs. Yes, yes, yes. Not like the one with here, not that chop eggs I'm gonna I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get, give you a chance to teach us uh, about the penny here, penny and, and chop eggs. But I, I wanted to know, is it because of the law? Why auntie didn't want you to call her mom? Or I don't just... think so. I think it was just her, her something she felt or something that uh, bothered her or upset okay. her or something, okay. and she just said, "Don't call me mom." Okay. And that was that was it. Cause she never brought it up again. You know? Oh, okay. No, okay. and uh, one of the things was she she was a, a dressmaker. Okay. I mean, no, we used to wear nice, pretty clothes. She used to wear them. So we dress up when we go to church. That's why the country children never like me. Come and dress pretty with ribbon and my shoes and socks. <laughs> Boy, Tom, <tongue>, yeah. <laughs> you know, and one time they pushed me down the hill and I rolled over and licked out my elbow. Mm. But that never stopped me because I wanted to be part of yes. all of that. Yes, yes. And uh, okay, so you can teach us now about because I've had several conversations with a lot of Jamaicans who live here mm -hmm. and they have no clue what is penny and what is trupans and all that. So, so, so tell us and farding and all that stuff. Tell, tell, tell us. Well, farding was what most people would get at some time. Right. Because if you see that, you could pick it up and drop it in your little pan or your exactly. little bucket yes. or your box. Right. But that couldn't be really buy nothing. It could Except, buy no, it could buy one mint ball. Yeah, or, or, or crackers, tree crackers. I mean, I know about the tree crackers, because <laughs> the mint ball I wanted, because when you crush that in your mouth and take a sip of water, it's like you're drinking ice water. Oh, so it's the mint ball that the okay, father okay, used, okay. used to buy. After All that, right. it never really come. Okay, okay. But if somebody give you a penny to do something, a penny could buy a bull Ah. So you could buy something to eat, or you could give to somebody and say, Give me two of your mother, make your penny fees. Yes, you know? yes, yes, and that's yes, all yes, yes, So you yes. had the penny and penny here, I mean you get a little a little yeah. brought, huh? So so the penny here is smaller than the penny, right? No. But it's penny, penny and the half a penny. Which oh the is, half a penny. Yes, here. Which is here penny. Okay, yes, a penny. penny. Okay, okay. Here penny. Oh so penny a penny is, is yes. a, a, is a penny and a half. Right. So it's that called fun and then chop chop pens. Chop pens is three With pence. Big money, yeah, three big pence. pence yes, yes. But yes. also that was the money you don't pick up if you see it on the road. Why? Because when people do them something <laughs> and the water and then fling it outside, the, that drop on you, you pick it up, you pick up what them the Oh wash, and that's right. my you god, don't, don't, one day. Okay, you don't pick up no trouble. Don't pick up trouble. No. Okay. You okay. Left okay. it alone. Okay. But if you get paid trouble, it's very nice. Right. <laughs> yes. 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 And then from the trouble, you yeah, have six pence. Six pence. Then one shilling. Yeah, a shilling. Okay. And you had a two shilling piece. Oh, there was a two shilling piece. And it was not quarter. And that was No, no, uh, call it. Which shilling? quarter? Then no, not about quarter. Oh boy. Two boy. shilling. Yes. About that size. Yes. And the two and six. Really, I still have some two and six. So they have a two shilling and a two and a six. A two and six. Yes. Oh, okay. Then they had the five shilling paper. The paper. Yeah, no, they had the five shilling paper. Yes. yes. And then the ten shilling paper. That's like a dollar. That's like a dollar. No, all right, all right. When all we right, switch, right. The, 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 he probably would have killed that. But I would use 10 whole actually, not enough money. Okay, yes. And then the pound. And then the pound. And if you're really, really in high, you know, you get a guinea. A guinea? Tell me about it. One pound and one shilling. Oh. That does what it was. So, hold on, it was a guinea, a paper? Or one pound, paper, and, and one shilling. And then one shilling. shilling. Yes. That's a guinea. Yes, that's the guinea. Oh that book, gosh. when you say, a tree, you mean I get fifty. Tree, you Look at how you big time. Because <laughs> cutting the lawn and you use the hunting on the lawnmower, you know, yes. you guys had any then. Yes. But and you get the start of getting penny hitting, and one day when you really work hard, you get chopping. Oh. And okay. maybe Christmas, you get chili. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you go to um, Grand Market, Christmas Market to go. Tell us about yeah. Grand Market. Where was Grand Market for you? Well, in town, Grand mm -hmm. Market was down by Parade, the whole of our own Parade, what oh. is now all that wonderful different place yes. and headquarters for this yes. and terminal for that. Yes, yes. That was a, and you go Christmas morning early, you get up and you're ready by five o'clock and you take the bus alone and you walk in town. And that's where you spend the little money. You, you money see money. Yes. yes. And I remember getting in trouble one year. It took me a long time to recover because it was the first time. I think I might have been about eight or nine or maybe a little bit earlier. The first time I saw a black doll. A black doll? A oh, black, black doll. doll. Black face, but she had cloth body. 
and she never had no hair. But I've never seen anything like that. And I said, but she looks like us. Is that, is that me one? Oh. Where are you going with that? Where you think your carrot go? But it's, it's a doll and I want a, I want a dolly. I get, I get to, come on and have it. And the other children nearby start to laugh. That made me determined to have it. It must be oh. something why they don't want me to have this doll. And I had it for quite a long time till I put the throat somewhere. Oh they did, we had never seen anything like that. It's the white dolls with the, the hair yes, and the and excitement the and the makeup and the dress and, 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 and the um, substantial limbs. Yes, yes. Good hands, we yes. forget what the material means. Yes, and that, yes, that and yes. the legs, and the, that make the face on the head. Yes, yes. Never saw it on a black doll until so, very so, much years later. So Grand Market was downtown Kingston. Downtown Kingston. And, and then and then where was Grand Market in the country for you? It, put it this way, it would be in the biggest square. <laughs> the, where the biggest shop is and the butcher over this side and oh, so the, the big butcher. grocery over there and all that sort of thing. And that empty land over there is where they would have the fair, the garden party. Right, right. that's where the tree man, the tree man, we call it again, the Akronan and Kagai. Whatever you want, Halle, I mean, this is for me with it. it the Kronan and Kaman was like um, the early, I, I don't know, maybe they were the beginning of the Rastafari movement. I'm not sure about oh, that. Oh, but really? to the dark guy, and then we used to call him Black Heart Man. And they would say, Black Heart, yes. Black Heart Man. Yes. Time head with a red thing, and yes. tunnel <laughs> under the, under the um, tamarind tree. <laughs> and you see the tamarind, and you want to pick it up. And you can't go because of it. Yes. And you rock, what? You know, we said, we want to go home and see like that. These are not trees, you know, where the Gina company now is. Yes. There's a huge tamarind trees and a little track road that go. And coming from the Sunday Adventist prep school, nursing school, you pass there to go to the other church street. And see the gentleman and go make after the tamarind. Never walk back there so <laughs> because it was scary and all children were afraid of that. Well, speaking of, of, of the Rastafarian movement, did, last month we celebrated Rastafarian month. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure if you know about that, right? Yeah, well, 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 I'm yeah, pretty pretty good idea. Do you remember, good do you remember the, the situation that occurred back in 1963 where, what was that about? No, I can't tell you any details about that because okay. in 63 I was in Jamaica. Oh! I was studying in London. Oh. At the, the, the Royal Academy. Okay. So okay. that I, mostly I heard of it. I, mean, heard I wasn't it. there when it happened. But I have known Rastas from then. Right. In fact, don't talk it all too low. I was married to one. Oh, oh that's so nice person. This, uh, wonderful person. Well this is what this is great conversation. Because I want to know about that too. But tell me, what do you think about the movement? of the Rastafarian from then I don't until, see why we would until fight it or anything. I don't know as much about this as I probably should right. or as I would like to in some instances and so on. But we will fight with it for. Yes. Now if we something and our people bring it out and look who the, the head was, yes. that gentleman. Because when he came to Jamaica, I had the job to interview him. In. Oh, you did? Yes. I Selassie? Yes, right at the railway sta Kingston railway station. And what happened, that was quite something. Yeah, you know, well, some no, guys well, caught correct. it on a, on a camera, but they never gave me a, a copy of it. Okay. I ran up with my microphone to recall the thing, and I am not even thinking royalty, highly silasi, keep your distance, keep your distance. But he was so utterly gracious and everything, and being like that, and then brought his grandson over. And I'm about to say something. And this the little dog, his little dog, one of them tiny, tiny things. Yes. Somebody was handing it to somebody and he dropped on the platform. I make off it and so did he. So it do I look at him. Right. Will you pardon my right. expression? <laughs> me nearly wet up myself. I could not have imagined anything like that. And I think I can't remember the cameraman who caught a little piece of it, Anka. We wouldn't give anybody a tell us anything, but oh. the place he caught because everybody came out to see him and yes. he was going to go to movie and train. I was to get on the train as well because on the train he allowed me to interview his grandson. Oh. So, you, you know, so many wonderful things happened. So, I can't have nothing but goodness in my heart for Rasta. Yes. And if you think about it, look at what is happening with her now. Yes, because now it's moved from being illegal. To move from being illegal, move from being a, a curse and a moderation and a this and a that and a that to something. 
I, there's a story that's stuck in my mind. I think I saw it about two months ago on TV. Tiny child, I think she wasn't quite two. Nothing. If you put a straw in her mouth, take half day for her to suck out the little milk or something. And somebody must have said to her mother, why don't you try this thing? Mm -hmm. She couldn't find it anywhere or get it anywhere. And she decided to hunt and to go on the net and she go everywhere. And finally, she ran into these gentlemen here in the States. I think they're two brothers or something. And they had a farm and we tried to grow the medicine we want. And they kept working, working until they came up with it. Suppose you see the, the baby in three days. You could not believe it's the same child. And another one with epilepsy. And so I've been watching these things. And yes. I say to myself, Jamaica is something else. We're going to sit out there and wait until the rest of the world take it. Because Israel and those places doing fabulous things with it and then get the best from us. Yes. I know that. Yeah. I read it, I've been I'm told it and so on. And we're going to wait till they take away the business from us. Yes. And now we go after going in the shop because there was a, a, a doctor who had created eye drops from, from cannabis mm -hmm. and a thing for asthmatics that would help you coughing and the bronchitis and all those sorts of things. And I remember feeling very good when it was announced on JBC that this man had done this thing, it had been approved, he had sent it away, it's been tested and blah 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 blah. You could go in the, the pharmacy and buy it. And within three months or less, it was off the shelf. Off the shelf. It then not do out and then come and take it. Oh my gosh. And took it away from us. And I'm saying, we are sitting and allowing them to do the same thing. There are many wonderful things about it. For instance, my grandmother, Seventh day Adventist, strict, strong, proper. Anytime you go to a yard and you don't see the bottle like this, where it is either smoking in white rum or cream soda. You're not a third yard. We never called it anything or said anything, but if you got a bad cold, like bronchitis or just a cough or even pneumonia, whatever they fix for you, and at night your medicine was like a teaspoon of that mixture into what you're supposed to drink and so on. I mean, you know, nobody will never recover it. I was born an asthmatic. And after the boat and the spell with her, me no have more asthma. Wow. So, you know, no matter go on, you know, next thing I lock me up. <laughs> 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 but, uh, you know, so many things you live and you learn and you watch. And, and we learn a kind of tolerance which is absent today. A kind of appreciation for other people's thoughts, their desires, their findings, their whatever. And we tend to lump them all together and dismiss them because not what we think. We have to stop it. Yeah, no, but I, I have a colleague of mine who has a son, 12 years old, and um, she had tried everything. He has, he had epile epilepsy. Epilepsy. Um, uh, a lot of occasions where he just... You would have seizures you know, and yeah, things like that. Yeah. And he would have like 15 to 18 seizures a day. Mm -hmm. He went and did a, a, a surgery, and the surgery brought it down to seven a day, right? But the, the seven yes. seizures were really still bad. Yeah. So she found an expert. She told me this. She found an expert who uh, provided her with the medicinal marijuana. And right now, the boy has no seizures. All right. No I seizure. tell you, lots of those stories are on TV now. If they watch the TV, I'm not watching dance hall and all that. Yeah. Things. They, they will really yeah, no, no, see it. I've followed it for two really years. Can I tell years. you something else? And it's not me one knows and it's not me one said. And the information and so on passed on to me. is one of the best things for pain. Mm. No matter what arthritis and those things do to you. But part of our problem is that we always overdo things. Yes. We, we don't, we don't we regularly, moderation. We don't, no, moderation is not a word in our no, dictionary, no. and that is what causes the problem. But to me, as far as I know and gather and learn from people, it's one of the very best things for pain. Because it's not that it's white by the pain and you feel full or floaty or so, you know. It is there, you know it is there, but it's at a distance. Right. And you know it is there and you know how not to walk, you know how not to sit or any of those things, but it is there. And you don't feel drunk, you don't feel mad, you don't feel any of those things. But if you go and pick up and see them all there and a puff puff, yes. then you take what you get. <laughs> but there are great things about it and yes. I am happy that they're doing something about it. And I just want Jamaica to be and there because it is known that we produce some of the very best 
in the world in terms of the, the medicinal qualities and all yes, of that. Yes. The fun part is all right. We right. don't know much about that. Right. But we've done it here and it has been proven. And we've got the rest of the world to take with the business and everything from us and we're there so far since we know it makes sense. Um, I'm going to go your, into your career a little bit. Yes. What is it? Which one of the, the plays that you have done that has brought you out, your own self, out of it? That's a hard one to answer because I never, I am dismissed when I'm doing a play. Oh, you are? Yes. One of the things is that they try to instill when they are studying abroad, watching older people, established people, and so on. First of all, from a rich theatre, don't business with nothing at home. Nothing. You don't have anything to do with anything. And once he says, uh, "Curtain up, five minutes on set," everything stop right there. It is only the play and the character <coughs> of the play and the story of the play, and who you have to relate to. That happens. And don't remember anything else. And this teacher was the one who said, "We have to try and get to the point where we watch from the wings, so that if something going wrong, the wings person in the wings will." help you to correct it and make you notice what is happening in the audience if they're restless, miserable, overjoyed, whatever. But you stay in the wings. Me don't interfere with the characters. Oh my God, that's, it that's, is going to punish the living daylight out of me. I cannot do it. That's not how I was taught. Miss Lou might not spell it out like that, but from a nine and some Miss Lou, I just knew the lady was fantabulous. And when Miss Lou on stage, you don't mess with Miss Lou, you don't bring in nothing else and pull up her piece. Oh my. Yeah, I've, never I've, heard it put like, I've never heard it put like that. True? No, never. I, I mean, no, I'm, I'm and not These that, I'm tutors, not. And, and they were they were, they were were white people. And we were little black students from all over. In fact, them things in Jamaica, we were still living in trees. Oh a couple of the tutors. So, so you, you actually take yourself away from you yourself? Shut myself out and don't. Uh, it's nothing uh, to do the with The only me. thing you do, you put yourself Is the relationship that. with the mm. other characters yes. and the reality of it and the concern and the everything as the, as the story is. You think in the storyline. I'm not saying that sometimes you don't stray or right, you right. make right. a blunder or something right. like that. But the basic thing is, we don't have nothing to do with that. You find it, that's why I say I don't act, I become. Because I find out as much as I can about the character, the story, the other people in it, what happened and so on and so on. And that is what feeds me from inside, even in, in the, the production and so on. And I find it, it allows you room to work with others. Because since you're not showing yourself and take out yes. and fast, yes. you can listen, you can hear, and you can probably say, look at when you're going to drop down the step, don't slide from the middle, come down two more, and then just shift your foot, and you slide right. And I say, how oh, you can't do that? And I say, go well, try it, and you will see, because you have to drop down the stairs, and if you do it badly, I've got broke something. <laughs> you know, that's the way we would work it out, and things like that. And the experienced people who shared things, you know, there's one of the English gentlemen, fabulous, for it, um, this gentleman here, um, ooh, He's, he's, he's a big timer, but I was just going to Rado when he was, was graduating. And the way he opened to us and we had just come and, and, and so on, it was Anthony Hopkins. Oh, I think that's died a few years ago, too, right? Isn't that yet? Hopkins. No, Isn't sir. Anthony Hopkins. Yes, he's very much here. Oh, no, I miss. I'm, I'm, I'm you remember Hannibal? Yes, Hannibal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the guy. Well, yes. I met him at drama school, okay. and you would have thought that you wouldn't have time for us. And I don't mean because we're black or anything, but we are beginners. He was graduating, uh -huh. and sitting at the table with us, he's sharing a meal with people who love with little um, apple pie and stuff. Right. I just don't know what he wanted one day. We'll ask a little question and something. And after that, and he was open and very generous and would share a lot. Those things help us to grow. So, so who is it then that you met for the first time and you were just total, in total awe? That's not that because that people can the first time I work with Peter or two life flipped. <laughs> <laughs> so, because that's a big name. 
Oh my God! And he is a wonderful person, mm. but he's a little slip of a gentleman. He's not a big tall person. No, he's not that tall. He's just nice height and send down everything. But he has a mind. Yeah, he has see a everything mind. and he hear everything and so. We just said that. After that, just like, I do. So, so we talking about and no, this is the real one. This is Tyson. Humble. Lux. Yes. I I was in Dreamland for days. Actually, I was in LA when when she got her star. Right. And I was invited down to the thing after. And I, and I, for days, my foot not touch ground. What's wrong with you? Is she, 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 she Jamaican or has some? No, she's from St. Kitts, I think. Or kids, one of those, oh, one of those okay. other islands. But she had needed something. They were doing something, and she needed some information about Jamaica. And somebody said to her, "Talk to this girl." And she called. Oh. And I freaked out. But I thought, you know, once in a life, I think that done. Then I went early and actually met the lady. You know, and wow. Yes. Wow. Because when you know the role she has played, yes. and you never see her do anything less than her best. Yes. Never. Yes. And the real and all of that. It's, it's absolutely, that was stunning. She said, Tyson. But you know, I always thought that um, when I see some of these movie actors, they, they play a certain type of role in this movie, and you can pretty much say it's the same role they play in other movies that are of different nature, and I always thought, oh, they're playing themselves. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, but sometimes you find, suppose you're watching a thing and you see a play and you see a performer and you think, I like that performance. Yes. The play in your head, or that is before you to cast, is similar. And you put that person in, you're going to get some of the same things. Okay. It's not because they're full of, no, no, not because they're full of, see, see? Can't talk to about anybody being full of herself. Oh my God. That is not her. She's just into the character. And if the character comes from Jamaica, if she can't find me, she's going to find somebody to tell her about where the character comes from, how the yes. character live, how it grow, what their parents what the, everything that you can get. That is not, not yourself. Tell me about Mars Run and the Snow. Because <laughs> I know that you've been waiting for me to ask you that question. I want to wait for you to ask you that question. Whatever you want to do, I will try my best to answer you. Mas Ran was a delightful man. He always helped us younger ones. And I'm thinking of from early pantomime days yes. when you Miss Lou Star. And Mas Ran would do rehearsals and so talk to you and explain or sometimes the group and we are to react to you. And some of us not doing the right thing to look here. You see so 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 and you begin to soak it in and you begin to relate to him and his character as a fabulous person to work with or to watch or just, just, to, just to talk with because he was also into radio. Yes. But he had one problem and a lot of us got some trouble about it and I used to tease him and one of my operators decided to record it one day. He had a gas problem. <laughs> 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 And the guy taped it and set it to music. <laughs> and in other words, oh. and after when they, because of diabetes, he lost he lost a foot. Okay. He said, "Don't call him Ronnie anymore, Miss Wani." Oh, you understand what I mean? Oh, he's so very real, he's very down to earth. Nice. And Miss Lou, I, I traveled up and down with Miss Lou for festival judging festival, mm -hmm. and when when you could feel and watch the the, the people's response to her. You can't do anything but try your best to please her and make sure she's satisfied. We had loads of fun. And every time we went to school, wherever it was, whether it was in St. Thomas or in Westmount, the reaction and the response was the same. And we just did and lock it up. And glad that when we judging and things like that, we sit in next time. I hear everything she says, everything she do, and when she make a little comment or something there, and she laugh, oh, it suits me too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you just couldn't help it. And she was very open. You, know, you don't mess with Miss Luca, discipline and all that sort of thing. Oh, yes, you don't mess about with her. But she was loads of fun. She was most entertaining. 
I can think of coming from the country and when we leave Mandeville and things, she said, the gentleman who was driving was Barry. She said, Barry, you know, I pass the place with no, with no, with no, poor, with no, poor, with no, And she loved it, yes. <laughs> and he tried until he found it. Because okay. you don't, you do not please Miss Lou. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So with, with those images in my head and those, those memories and so on, yes. you can't help but, but try. Yes. And, and reach out to somebody, stretch out to you. You better reach back. You can't do otherwise. God, I, don't, I didn't expect at this stage to be able to remember what I'm supposed to remember. Because I know a lot of my friends who are younger than I am, they have problems that they don't remember. But lines and things give them living hell. My code, all those things, thank the Lord. So far, when it comes to the and things like that. I am all right. As long as we have with the family, the team, right. and we're working together, and we know each other's weakness and strength, and all that, we're all right. So we we'll just have to sit down and keep training. So and, and then, um, what what was acting then? It was not it was a profession. But, well, I knew that. No, no, it's um, it is right. Oh yeah. What's very what's, much what's so. the what's the difference in in how you you prepared? Uh, the, no, the, the different the basics are the same, okay. but it's just that no people are more open and mother not going to freak out if her daughter say I want to the theater. Oh okay. In my day, my mother told the entire street she's going to buy a hanky and stack it out with food for that she's going to say somebody can't have a go up. I can't do what. Okay. You are a civil servant or maybe a nurse or something. Yes. Ak. Ak. Yes, yes. But I will I promise her I will give her the handcart and stack it out. <laughs> that is not the attitude of her. Right. If, if that's a child leaning and drive and so on, you encourage and you help. Mm -hmm. Lots of teachers, everybody, parents, everybody know more open. So, so, so that's one of the big difference between then and now. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset. It's accepted now that it can be a be profession, a, it is right. worthwhile, it is whatever, whatever. In those days, no, that's something you do for fun. Fun and love. Mm -hmm. you, lo you, do, you love it, and you do, but it's for fun. You don't bring one no red money out of that or anything. Mm -hmm. And then it started to grow. I think the little, little theatre started that first, where the pantomime from just a big party at the end of the season, and you can maybe bring a friend or something like that and have a nice meal around that down by the, by the sea mm -hmm. down there. Um, then that, 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 I think it was an English director who came out. And when he saw the kind of work that we were doing at home, you know, because let's say you're working three pounds a week and you have to take bus to go down there Sunday, you have to carry food and things. The first thing was give them something for lunch on Sunday. And then he said, and um, what about, you know, remuneration or something like that? I said, what? Uh? But he said, no, 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 that's not proper. And this was like two weeks away from opening. And you tell them, you say, you don't pay them, I'm not finishing this. Done, full stop. And we got 10 shillings. <laughs> if oh. you had a line, if you had no line, you probably get five. <laughs> but 10 and some got 14 if you had a little rule and yes. so. And then they were able to pay people like Mr. Bamas on top of it. Because they were so much a part of it and so much of it is due to them and the efforts that they made and so on. So what do you think then about preparation, presentation, then versus now? Do you see any... It's growing, it's growing. Initially there had to be a, 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 com a total commitment to it or you would get a chance to go do anything. Nobody would bother. And the things didn't run long enough, you didn't get any money and that. No, all that has changed somewhat. It's not where it should be yet, but it is there. You know the respect, the commitment, the regard, the everything, all those things that are part of, of you that you have to have in order to become an active, working, I, I say, precious member of any company or things like that, and even theatre. And, also, young talent. No parents are pushing you to turn nurse and that sort of thing. And the things that are happening in school where they have workshops for this and right. people come and introduce them to that and that and that. So the choices are better. Mm -hmm. 
with basic things you're doing. You cannot ignore you're not allowed. And if, or, you know, some people who know, me starring in that play, you know, starring and not in the really place of people who see it and like it and love yes. it. Forget the star Yes, yes. That's incidental. Yes. The commitment is to make it happen, make it live. Right? The words come off the people and live, make people recognize the, the characters. And so, hey, you know, they like that, you know. Boy! I sometimes I've been told, I said, Chow, where you hold up, what is his name? And also, well, you know her? He said, no, who? But because you do your research, you don't stop. You never stop. Always, because there's always something you think that you can find that will make it even better. And you watch and you listen. When they did the two at drama school, the first time she did it, they nearly dead. She said, what did you observe this morning, dear? I said, sorry, miss. How did you get here? I said, the tube and the bus. He said, yes, and what the did tube. you notice? Yeah, the underground, the train. Oh, oh they call it that's, tube. that's in England? Yes. Okay. The tube <laughs> are, the, are the double deck right, right, right. But what, what, what did you notice? What do you remember from your trip this morning? I mean, I look around and I said, what's the most man? I mean, I try to get here on time and realize that maybe we didn't wait enough breakfast. She asked me what me observe or what did And she just looked at her eye. He says, the next time I ask you, I'd better have a book to show me every single day. There must be something that you notice that is different, that is valuable, that is useful. And so you get into the habit. Because yes. you don't want to fall short when, when they are being kind and old to you. The first tutor up there, they say, why I come? Because I wouldn't be understood. And the first play I was in, he was in one running at the same time. <laughs> when he got back to class at the end of the first class that term, he said, Oh, Miss Fox, I noticed that you had a very good review, excellent review. I said, Yes, I did. You also notice I communicated. Good afternoon. Hello. <laughs> and I have never forgotten it. But he, he, he became decent. He never go on what this and But it's all those things. It's everything. Anything you can learn, anything you can remember, reproduce, all of that. Sometimes you know where somebody cut the eye off there because with film they don't need no whole heap of movement or that but the kids have to be even more fun because the camera pull everything out your eyes yes, yes, yes. and if you're not thinking right no matter what you do I know you just it don't work but if you can look at the camera and very little movement sometimes you say it's not much that is the biggest problem I have when I'm working with youngsters now the difference between stage and, and film right. They just shoot. Yes. I always have to come from in here. I lick them. Yes. You? Oh, my. And you know what I mean? Yes. Look at nobody. But I like that. That's, 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 that's really, really, really good. Um, do you remember the first day that you felt that this was my big thing? Uh, when you when in Jamaica, not not in England, think about the day that that you say uh, that was uh, that my best performance. This is what made me. I don't think I ever went there. I, with each one, I I know the nights when we hit the high, mm -hmm. and I'm very happy about it. When we don't, no matter how many wonderful things people say to me, I thank them and I smile. And I go and go back to myself and go through every page, every line, every word. What did you do wrong? Why did you do that? Or, or somebody with somebody like Charlie. Charlie say, Lee, last night I remember I seen thing, thing, thing. I say, yeah, him say, don't go there, so go some. Sometimes in the beginning I say, why? And him show me. After that, he don't have to show me. Mm -hmm. and I think, because you're going to try and think of it, you anticipate. You don't wait for things to slap you in the face or anything. And that is why you work with a team. We can't work with stars. You mean Charles Hyatt, right? Charles Hyatt, yes. Yes, yes. that's another big name. It's oh my my mm. Charlie. Charlie was excessively generous, but he also could be very wicked. He could have wrapped you around the thing there in no time flat. That sort of thing. But if you're in another production and you come to see it, I'm saying, yeah. All right, but this is scene two in, in thing there, it goes so and so and so, and it will work better. It's not that it don't work, but it will tell you something that will help you to do better. So, so everything is mathematical. 
I don't know if you would, I wouldn't call it that. It's you so lovely. think of it, that, well, maybe, but I, I can't think of it like that. I okay. just think of your, your thoughts, your mood, your, what you're absorbing, yes, you know, yes. where, you, where you want to go with the character, where you want the production to go, all that sort of thing. What do you think about education in Jamaica today? What you are getting me in trouble. Yes. Why? <laughs> <laughs> There are lots of good things about it, not much better than when I was going to school. We don't reach and stuff yet, but we get in there. I think so. Because a lot of the young people know their eyes wide open, they're not being fooled or, or being screeched or any of those things. Yes. They can see, they can understand. And since all the gender thing like that, where you are a girl, you're quiet for right. yourself. You because you're, you're, you must have barefoot. Pregnant and in the kitchen, that a few rule. Not anymore. That is not so anymore. Yes. You know, and and even the youngest children know. There's a way you you find they kind of holding up themselves and acknowledging. Yes, we are children, and we have to behave, and we have to do so and so, so. But I'm interested in that. And it's, the youngsters who come to some of the plays, I mean, if you want him back, speak you know, up. Yeah. Yes, but I know it's that. He said, "Why you do that to say anything?" I said, "Why you think I did?" But how you wicked <laughs> and it's living truth because that's the character I was playing. Yeah. But they're not shy now to come and right, say to you. Not shy or to say, why why is it like my daughter when we did our mother courage? She doesn't really think she, I don't even think she was four yet. And she came opening night. Little body came and came with her. And when the play finished and the people clap and everything and we Thing, and thing. they came up on stage with her and she went straight up to one of the guys and gave him one lick. <laughs> Why you trouble my mother? <laughs> she, you know, if you trouble my mother, she punch him. She didn't care top on who was going to work. And I thought, that's amazing, you know. She believed that she knows her mother, but she could understand the, the relationship between yeah. the character yeah. and, and things like that. So it's changing a lot. And there are many young people with a kind of drive and a passion that I wish I'd had when I was coming. Right. That I made the journey not easier, but a little less difficult. Yes, yes. yes. So I had a man and I do and, it's and growing. Then, and then our music, what has our music done to our culture? Anything that you want to bring out? Um, negative we're not talking about music. We love music. Me and Jan, we can't tell you who did what most times and so on. I know what I like and what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. I know I love our, all right, put it this way, our folk songs. We can always catch me with those. Right. Because I used to adore listening to the Jamaican folk singers, the Cary folk singers, all those people, and the new university singers. I don't miss them. Because they give you some of the other stuff, beautiful they're, stuff. They're still there, right? Yes. And, and you still go on. Yes. When I talk about, I talk about um, um, cartel and and and. Me not into and, that. I don't know one blessed thing about it. You can't even help me. <laughs> okay, okay. And it don't seem it it, it it seem to be helping some people, but that's not the direction in which I'm interested. Because some of them use it to be worthless, um, and I don't like. That. Okay. And since I don't know what to say to them, come on and talk me down how they do I just I keep it at a distance. I will try and know what is going on and who is the new one and who is the new one. And some of them I enjoy and if I see them I can tell them. Right. But it is it's not really my thing. Okay, okay, okay. Folk singers, yes, and university singers as well. Yes, carry folk singers and all those other little groups, some of these cool choirs and think wonderful. And I I, I do tend to see little bits and pieces, little flashes of the folk singers and the university singers. In fact, there is a young lady that, that introduced me to, um, uh, not introduced me, but she told me about it, that she sang in one of those choirs, Renee Rattry. You know Renee Rattry? Yeah, All right. very familiar. But Renee says she sings, and then I went on YouTube and picked up some of these, and I didn't realize that it was still so popular. Oh, it is. I did not know that. Beautiful song. Mm -hmm. You see, the, the, the university singers, for instance, the other day, the gentleman did, he wrote it himself, 1865, and it's the story of God mm -hmm. and all those people and, and, and that. I sat there the night and I can't tell you, my head swelled big so, and everything. At the end, so most times I go to a show, I enjoy if I see somebody, I tell him also, but you jump in the car and you drive. No, I had to go and tell him, Mr. Gentleman, I said, do carry it on the island. It's our story. 
you use some of our music, it's our movement, our everything. Do I beg you. And he has been doing person named Halliburton. Mm. Wonderful, gifted person and the choir. So I'm singing as the nearest man. Wow. All of them, that made me heart feel good, it made me head swell, it like all those things. Because whenever I hear them, if I'm uptight or miserable or cranky or anything, I want to do a start immediately. Without fear or fear or anything, I will just. And it starts to sink in. And I am on my way to be whatever it is that I want to be and to be comfortable and to love it, love our music. And Miss Blue was one of the people who used to introduce some of those little yes, ones that yes. were, were fun ones, yes, you know? Because yes. she used to go around and Olive Lewin, Olive the Lewin Jamaican fox in her, yes. look at the one. Yeah. Ooh, that lady, and if you see Miss Olive make Papa Show, when we do things like tea meeting, you can't all do Miss Olive. When she broke out the first two teeth, <laughs> and she tied her head so and she got it. You die with laughter. But when you go to rehearsals, and say, you don't mess about. All you don't say you learn something, you know it. You learn it till you can't forget it. Oh. Think of it like that. That was cool. And mm. everything was It's a nice way to put that. Yeah, you don't learn it till you know it. You learn it till you can't forget it. And you know the story behind the song because she went up to the maroons and everything. And she, she's an honorable maroon. They made her so. But the research, she went up there and did. And somebody else who did that too was Ivy Baxter in terms of movement. We never know that them could make her look stupid with the, with the um, do one here, bend down and go under the thing. Right? Um, but, uh, limbo. Limbo. Try go up a maroon down the limbo and they laugh after you. <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> it's their thing. It's theirs. And Miss, Miss, Miss Baxter went up there and she found out that. And then Ali went to there and they got the music to go with it and the mood to blow water. And fantastic. It's all those things we have full up inside of me. So my life can't be boring and it can't it's be dull. Sometimes it has some pain and disorder. And, you know. Tell me about England. Your transition. We want to know. Me no transition to more England. I'm going to go study whatever. <laughs> something to offer me. Okay. And one of the teachers said to me, she said, learn everything you can, but never lose what you came here with. Never lose your country and the things about your country. Never do that. And I have never. I will enjoy being there. I enjoy going to Germany and me can't speak for them language and them don't speak mine but me. And the actors we relate and everybody enjoy it and so on. But I'm not dropping it for anything. What? Yeah, Jamaica is my. What year did you go to England? 61. And and how did you go there? By boat? Mm -hmm. I ask. Me didn't go by no. I go by aeroplane, but I never carry my never carry my shed pan with me. Me didn't just eat with them, give me a pan to play. Oh, but well, they had good good food then? Yes, and you were you were really quite well fed. It, not a large proportion, yes. but quite tasty and different things to drink and so on and so on. Oh, okay. went, by, went by playing. Okay. Because uh, Dick Pixley, who used to be on here at the time, when Dick tell us about what happened on the boat sometime and at the wharf and all that, he said, mm hmm, not to come that. No, it's cheaper, but hey, hey, don't want that. And he went it too long. Fly do and say hello to Auntie this and cousin that in New York and London. How has Jamaica transitioned from adult suffrage for today? I think we are doing well. We don't arrive yet quite, but I think we're we are doing well because we are finding ourselves and are straightening up and know that we we are people whole some human beings will have as much right to anything as anybody else. And I'm not even talking about colour and all that. You know, little country and so on. There when we go to England and think we did still live in trees that didn't right. even know where Jamaica was. Right. None of that anymore. And with with technology technology and so on, information is there. Anything you want to know you can go home to top on the thing and so on. And in some instances that's why I'm I'm not a fan of some of the technology. Because we never grew up where you ball out everything and tell and everybody has a fear talk and comment and until you don't do that. <laughs> so it, that makes me uncomfortable. But the other aspects of it, very good because you can find those things, trace things, do that, that, that. You know, business, you know, approve of the very intimate 
details about everything you're putting so, so, on. So you're not telling me that you're not on Facebook? I'm not. If you see anything on your work, then let me put it there. So which one of the social media are you on? Not one of them. <laughs> That's good. Not one of them. So you hold, because you hold you, your... your yeah, yes. Because one of the things that I miss, and I keep talking about it, is we stop talking to one another. Yeah. If everlasting thing, yeah, I mean, you are right. For what? We stop talk, and so we stop caring enough. We stop understanding one another enough and reaching out to one another. So, first time you see somebody sit down, so you know, if you ask if something worries them or upsetting them, you know, when you get on this and you look up, you think, oh, then, you know, are you going? No, I'm not comfortable with that. I can't disapprove because it's part of a tremendous development and so on. But I am not going to take part in it. Okay. I don't believe in it. I believe in talking to people and I still do. Yes. And I'm sorry we stopped writing letters to one another. Margaret, wow. I know you were at the post office and worked so well. It didn't take all six weeks to have a letter. <laughs> but notwithstanding, with the telephone, you can call. Hi, how are you doing? You see the voice. Yes. And when, when I walk into the supermarket, it's not just the older people who say, we used to listen to you on radio in the mornings and things like that. It's not just them, even the children. Sometimes the little commercials you get to do. And instead of, I see you on the box, on the mat. No! Talk to people. We're people. We have feelings. We care. We love. We hate. We cuss. We really connect. You know? That is my that is my biggest thing nowadays. My biggest sadness, so to speak, is that we we seem to be losing touch with our, our one another, and that's why people will really think that we are we are unkind or we're not generous. So it's not that. Just all of a sudden we turn and we're speaking something. You don't know, see other people. I don't know how pastors put up with it in church. You know, they say the day and remember the Lord sent you a time. <laughs> How you look up and you see them, nobody else. I throw them out. That's true. That's so, true. But that, all that is really me. So we yes, yes, uh, yes. offer it as anything for anybody. That's just, Boy. just me. me just miserable and cantankerous like that. No, sir, I enjoy, I enjoy. This has been so much fun. I, I, I really thank you for giving me this opportunity to sit with you. you. Are very well. I, I, I enjoyed the radio conversation, but this is even... <laughs> This, this, this is just really the nicest thing. It's uh, you know. But put it this way: the visit here and and the response and so on and so on, all that has contributed to getting me at a level where I'm I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm comfortable. Oh, yeah, really? I'm, 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 I feel relaxed. I don't feel threatened in yes. any way. All I know is that together we're going to try our best to make everybody glad that they could come and that that sort of thing. And if if if, if you say goodbye, tell me when you're saying goodbye. I, I am actually. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about the, sh the show tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah. um, what do you want to know about it? I, I, you know, somebody said to me uh, this evening, um, Leonie says that this is my final performance. Is that true? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, okay. Never said that. Okay. And if All I right. ever open my mouth and say that, I think okay. David will be down my throat in Okay, okay. Thank I am you. going to try till him said time to stop. Okay, thank you. No, no. That All is right. not. Oh, okay. Not true. Okay. But the show... We can, we can have bits, actually. No, you have yeah. no, yeah. I can't. I cannot do that. Not after all the things, and the gift he's given me, and all the things, yes. and the people who've contributed. No, we can't do that. Okay, can't, can't okay. Do that. good. But the, the the production tomorrow and and Sunday, it's a true story, and it relates to life at any level that you want to think of it as. I don't want to give away any of the no, precious no, things. No. But there's this lady, me, dying of cancer. And her son, who is a firm believer, is he wants to be a priest and all of that. And he feels that God, through him, will heal her because she really gets very, very bad. And it doesn't work. And give up. Because then God played a fool with him and hit out and everything. And has a horrible crash which almost eliminated him. He can't see, he can't move about or any of those things. But through that, and trying to deal with it and coping, and the people around him, how they are reacting and responding, who hurting him still, who trying to help him and all this kind of thing. And 
he comes back to himself. He begins to re-examine. Was he justified in, in, in reacting that violently to, to, to God? Who says God did do it? Is your faith weak? Perhaps out of things like that. Mm -hmm. And so that in the end it balances out and he does come back to himself. He returns to his faith, his belief, and believes in himself and he does become his, his a pastor and something that he, he wanted to. It full of laughs. Oh, oh, because yeah. there's a character gentleman in there, every woman in seeing one trouble. <laughs> And he play one against the other, and he play the two against everybody else. And he nice looking at him, have money. So he leave the son, trying to say, hey boy, come on, what are you doing? Yeah. No man, come back, come do this. The mother take him out and said, leave my son alone. Can you all look at <laughs> But there's that, and the, the, the ladies who, you know, they like my son. Because basically he's a decent man, you yes. and me, and that sort of thing. And they were war because this one too. And then when the man with the accident and he can't do nothing, the friend him come in. He's like, he can't, and this is me. So it's, it's, full of, it's full of reality. You, know? you will laugh, you will cry. Because I can remember one performance where a young man too, I don't think he's 48 or any of those things. And when he got to the middle where he had lost and things and things happened, he run out of the theatre crying. And people have said, you know, so it has something for everybody. Yes. Even you know, children. It's so funny about life that that you you see life one way and you get mad about this thing and you don't even realize that you're actually getting mad at yourself. You're, you're, you're blaming something else, but it's uh, you know, somebody, somebody else, somebody but, it's really but it's really you, you. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. When he I, learns that lesson, yes, yes, and, yes. He, and he face, face up to things and so on. So it, it ends on a nice note. But what really stunned me to start with was the reaction of particularly the religious people, the church people. Church, yeah. And I thought, wow, you know, because they don't like everything, nobody does, okay. but this, and I'm saying, but the way we got to that and got to that, they really say, yeah, the kind of real. Yes. It is real. Yes. There's nothing make believe about it or pretentious or it's something that somebody concocts that with their, their great brain or something. No, it's life and people, you know, and the things you face and how you, how you survive certain things and so on. Or sometimes you say, if you try, you can. Yes. You know, you can do it. It's, it's tremendous. I, 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 I'm hoping that they will get all the messages and have a good laugh as well. Because some guys laugh in their bed. But what I know is that people um, are highly respectful of Leonie Forbes. God bless you, but nobody no. no recognizes her. No, we can't be candid with you. Tell, 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 tell her, I do. A true. You just say, I tell her. Once, once, you know, once one, the, that morning when I had you on, I advertised the entire week. There were people who were just there to just hear you. I got so many telephone calls. They said, wow. that sounds so real, like a real person. But well, that's one of the things I've always tried to do. I don't believe in being pretentious or any of those yes, things. Yes, yes. And I try different. to keep my feet on the ground. Yes, yes. You know, we have problems, though. Yeah. I'm in quarry, I'm in cuss, I'm in go and bad, and I feel sick sometimes, and sometimes I'm so depressed because so and so and so. Yes. Not necessarily for me, you know, it could be some people are wrong, so, but I try to keep the feet down here, face right, and I have never lost touch with that gentleman out there. Never. I can't. I wouldn't know what, what to do like that. If you had an opportunity to say some things to the Jamaican people, what would it be? What would you like to say to them? Go back to what we used to do. We loved and cared about one another. We talked to one another. We care, we share. We are, so that is one of the things that is coming, but it has not come back to well, I remember as a child, where every child was every adult's child. Nobody could ill treat you on the road or do anything to you. They would have to answer to that adult, that, that parent, whoever it was. Yes. I can think of several situations like that where my mother sent me to shop and I get up down the road and I pick up this and the lady said, No, 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 no. Sure about that. That's not yeah. All right, love, and the party I want. I want all of that to come back. 
and then we will be the Jamaicans that, that we are intended to be. Because a precious little country we have. A lot of wonderful things. And when you go into the countryside, can you imagine you driving through the hills of Hanover and the little boy come with them bread from the bakery mm -hmm. and they say, I mean, you know, I want to go to Moby and I'm not sure which road to take. So you stop and they say, Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Or if you stop somebody on the road and say, to go, How do you do, ma'am? Yes. Every in the body, they say, Then not do that again, so much. But this little kid, and I say, um, How I go to Moby? He said, If you drive around this on the road, you can't go back to your way. I said, Pick a piece of your bread. I am look at me. And he started, I said, No, it's alright, come, maybe drive. <laughs> and we stop and, and bought things like, not just me one, but yes. there are other folks yeah. in the car. But those are the things that I miss and hope we can keep some of it somewhere so that it always is there as a reference point. Because that's what made us precious. And it will come back to that, it has to. That's what I'm, I'm praying for. Thank God you very you. much. It's been such a pleasure. And it's been a pleasure for me, a real pleasure for me. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh, thank you.